The story is real simple. It's a story about being a victor. Being able to be a victor. Victorious. Victorious in everything. How about just being victorious at breakfast time? I mean it. It starts at breakfast time. You remember that some people wake up and they don't even have the opportunity to have breakfast. And some of us wake up and we're just so lazy we can only put in a Pop-Tart. And then if you get fancy, you put a Pop-Tart in and add the best substance in the world, peanut butter. Victorious living, you start the day off, right? You start the day off with breakfast. It's a victory. It's a victory. But you forgot that the most important victory was that your eyes opened up. God has blessed you with another day, a new day. Whatever challenges you are going through, whatever heartaches, headaches, pains that you have, it's a new day, a day of victory. So what happens if you begin to look forward to winning each and every day? Nothing will defeat you. Nothing will defeat you. Each day, hear this, is your Super Bowl day. Each day is your Super Bowl day. I know it's next week, but I plan on preaching between now and Sunday. For those of you going to spend the night, I'll still be preaching. Amen? Amen. Oh, you know it ain't going to (laughs) happen. But think about it. Each day is your Super Bowl day. It's a day that you will be able to defeat the enemies in your life. And your greatest enemy oftentimes is yourself. The way you think, how you respond to life's challenges, how you respond to the storms of life. So hear this. To live victoriously, you only need this one thing. Faith. Faith. Turn to your neighbor and say, I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. If there's storms in your life, then you need to have faith. Because if you don't have any storms, then there's something missing in your life. There is a minus. So let me give you the plus. Storms add seasoning to life. Storms add meaning to life. But most important of all, storms add Christ. When you're going through something, you need to add Christ in the mix. When things are happening that you just don't have any control over, you need to add Christ. Christ in the mix. This world is not a perfect world and you are not a perfect people. So God knew that we needed to have Christ because we are going to have some storms. We are going to have some storms. So are you stormproof? Are you stormproof? Are you ready for your storm? Have you done what you needed to do? Well, let me tell you right now, it's only one thing that you need to be stormproof, and that's faith. Put on faith, no matter what happens. Put it on. Claim it. As soon as something happens to you, claim it, claim it, claim it. You're going to be a victor. You're going to be a victor. I was reminded today, and please, Terry, forgive me for for mentioning this, and this is not bad news, but what happens was the heat went out. And I have merely thought about the times when we didn't have heat in our home, but I had enough faith 
to know that it was cuddle time. Woo-hoo-hoo! When it gets cold, there's nothing like cuddling. Amen? So you can freeze if you want to freeze, or you can cuddle if you want to cuddle. But guess what? Some of us don't have a person to cuddle with. And I'm going to tell you right now, the best cuddle thing in the world. You ready for this? Some of you may think it's a full-size teddy bear. But let me tell you the greatest thing to cuddle with, and that's the love of God.